Hi guys. It is a gorgeously spectacular, gorgeously spectacular day. Is it a gorgeously spectacular or is it a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times? An absolutely perfect postcard day here in the end times in paradise next to the banks of Buckeye Creek above Bridgeport, California on this cool, crisp August day, Tuesday, August 16th, 2016. So, uh, just getting back from the outhouse. Uh, so a few minutes ago, I, I had a rant about trolls. And while I was walking to the outhouse and back, this rant occurred to me, which is not exactly about trolls. It's somewhat about clueless morons. And, and I'm sorry I don't remember your name, brother. I don't, my computer battery is dead. I, so I got this comment yesterday from this fellow. I really do wish I could remember your name. Uh, who is reacting to uh, to one of my eco Nazi rants? And he was about overpopulation, uh, I, I believe. And so he was pointing out, in his opinion, although he does agree that there's too many people on the planet, and that this planet would be a hell of a lot better off with one billion people on it as opposed to over seven billion. Although he does understand that, he believes that it is the, the uh, as I think Chris Hedges does, the new vegan and father of four, uh, Chris Hedges uh, believes that it is not overpopulation. It is not 7.4 billion people on the planet that is the biggest threat to the planet. That what the biggest threat to the planet is, is the animal agriculture industry. That was bullshit. That the particularly the beef industry leading the pack, it is the fact that people eat meat, especially beef, and I don't know what his opinion is on seafood, that is the number one reason that this planet is going to hell in a handbasket. So anyway, this is what I was thinking about uh, on my way to the outhouse and back, is this rant occurred to me. I've had versions of this, so I want to boil it all down to the question, are you a clueless moron or an eco-Nazi? And uh, this whole definition, I, I've... I've mentioned how many times I rinse my definition of a clueless moron. I am an eco-Nazi, so obviously I filter the definitions through the eco-Nazi filter. I admit, if, if I had to name one top 40 radio song being played today, one, I would be a clueless moron if I had to name the quarterback of one football team in the United States. I would be a clueless moron. So depending on your definition, you know, there's many definitions of clueless morons, but this is how I draw the distinction now, an eco-Nazi draws the distinction between a clueless moron and an eco-Nazi. Okay, answer this one question.
one question. So I'm going to present two scenarios to you. And on, uh, on this side of the page, we have the CEO, the hypothetical, I'm not exactly talking about Rex Tillerson, but we're going to make it a hypothetical CEO of Exxon Mobil Oil Company. This man is the, is the head of the single biggest planet-eating oil company on the planet. That makes millions and millions of dollars a year. He and his wife live in a 15,000 square foot mansion in a gated community outside of Houston, Texas. Their 15,000 square foot mansion is powered, heated, and of course in Houston, air conditioned 100% by a coal power, coal fired power plant. He has no solar panels in his life. He and his wife both drive Hummers. They, they drive Hummers that get eight miles to the gallon. Uh, he has a black one, she has a pink one. Okay, let's see. Uh, being a proud Texas oil man, this man's, the, the main thing he enjoys eating the main thing he enjoys eating, of course, is good old beef. He is a beef eater. He, he likes his beef fattened on Monsanto GMO corn. So he likes his corn-fed beef, which he eats at least five times per week. Likes those big old fat, uh, medium rare T-bones on the sizzling on the grill. A major meat eater. And when he's not eating beef, he prefers seafood. And if he can do the surf and turf, if he can have beef and seafood on his plate at the same time, he's a happy guy. For relaxation, what are we going to give this man's hobbies? Well, of course, he is a big game hunter in Africa. He loves to shoot elephants, rhinos, lions, you know, the usual. Uh, when he's not in Africa, when he's kicking back, he is out on his power boat out on the lake. He's either out on his power boat on the lake or he's up in the mountains on his ORV. <coughs> and uh, this man, while he 100% agrees with his hero, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, that the world. Uh, can support a population of one quadrillion people. He understands that, that the world can support a population of one quadrillion people, every one of which can own a sports car and a powerboat. Alex Jones is on record stating this. And he agrees with Alex Jones on this. He also, being uh, such a man as he is, he is a selfish son of a bitch. And he also understands the fact that if by having a child, by having even one child, is in essence throwing himself in prison for a minimum of 18 years. 
that being a parent is tantamount to being a prisoner doing hard time for a minimum of 18 years, this man decided to get a vasectomy before ever having one child. So he and his wife are childless living in their 15,000 square foot mansion. Okay, I think you understand this man on this side. So on the other side of the ledger, we have this man. Now I'm so let's make it a woman. Let's balance things out. So on this side, you have a woman, a little greeny. We're going to make her the CEO of one of these mainstream limp dick environmental organizations. We're going to make her the CEO of, oh, let's call it the Sierra Club. You just take your pick. So she's the CEO of Sierra Club probably makes instead of a hundred million dollars a year like the over here this guy she probably pulling in my guess is about one hundred thousand dollars a year as a ceo of uh the sierra club so she and her husband they don't live in a fifteen thousand square foot mansion powered by a coal-fired power plant, they live in a 300 square foot tiny house built out of recycled lumber, 100% passively powered by solar energy, 100%. Their 300 square foot recycled lumber tiny house completely off the grid. Instead of her and her husband each owning a, a Hummer, they share their driving. They own a Prius, they own one Toyota hybrid. Prius between the two of them, one of these little green cars. Uh, so that's, so they drive a Prius and whenever possible they ride their little bicycles. Uh, okay, oh yes, uh, of course. Uh, they do not eat beef or seafood. They eat no meat. Like Chris Hedges and Al Gore, uh, this woman and her husband are 100% vegans. They let nothing pass their lips except organically farmed vegetable matter. They eat no GMOs, zero GMOs, zero food. They have a 100% organic vegan diet. Now being good little mainstream, wait, 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 one more thing, for, for their hobbies, instead of big game hunting, power boating, and uh, ORVing, what they do for fun and hobbies is they go canoeing and hiking, and whenever possible, they like to join these Save the Planet from Climate Change marches. And of course, they sign their petitions. They uh, sign their Save the Elephant petitions. And of course, they recycle. And 
finally being the head of a mainstream limp dick environmental organization this woman and her husband understand that the planet cannot support one quadrillion people or even 10 billion people so being environmentally responsible they have decided not to have two children to replace the two of them but in fact to only have one child one child not two they are going to honor a one child policy to do their part to save the planet from overpopulation they are going to step up to the plate go beyond the call of duty and have one child and so she has the child and then she gets her tubes tied biology she sterilizes herself never zero chance she will ever have a second child okay so those are the two people the question to ask yourself to decide whether you are a clueless moron or an eco-nazi the question is which one of these two people ultimately ultimately will have the smaller carbon environmental or ecological footprint which one of these two people over the course of time assuming that the, you know what I'm saying that their one child replaces their you know what I'm saying uh, which one of these people will eat will be directly not indirectly directly responsible for eating more of this planet for doing more to destroy this planet which one of these people is it mr planet eater ceo of exxon or is it little miss walk lightly ceo of the sierra club which one of these if your answer was that the CEO of Exxon has a larger, ultimately larger eco ecological footprint than Little Miss Save the Planet from the Sierra Club, you are a clueless moron. If your answer was this woman over here little miss save the planet with one little vegan child will do more than the childless ceo of exxon over the course of history to take down this planet if you understand that her ecological footprint is bigger than this guy's congratulations you can join one of the point zero one four percent of the planet who is not a clueless moron and who is an eco-nazi welcome to probably the single smallest club on planet earth who understands there is one way only one way and and it's probably too late for this one if you want any chance of saving this planet from this point forward there is one way to do it that is to sterilize yourself as i did at age 22 before ever having one child to not breed 
and you will do more to save this planet than any goddamn mainstream limp dick environmentalist vegan solar panel powered hybrid driving petition signing recycling clueless moron breeder will ever do do you get it until you get it you will be a clueless moron but stick around long enough and hunt me not me tribe and maybe we will get through to you sooner or later brother and sister I'm gonna wrap up this rant because I'm a hungry bear and while I don't eat beef I do eat pork and I need to go slice up some ham to uh, fry up over my little frat bottle of Coleman propane. Bye guys.